I think it's an exciting time to be in the women's sport. I've never encountered a time where there's been so much interest, um, so much engagement, so many partnership opportunities, and so many people wanting to be a part of women's sport. This just seemed like such an amazing opportunity to lead this organization and to um, be a part of the change. Let's see what we find out inside. They have not only the equipment room, but we have a coach's room, a player's lounge. They have the gym right here. So they're basically full-time hockey players. They're here all day. And they might learn to hate the rink after a little while, but this is, this is what they do. I chose the PHF because the doubling of the salary cap, which occurred a few months ago, uh, it's like 1.5 million USD, which is an incredible number. And I think it's a testament to the leadership group in this league, the investors, um, and I think the future of the PHF is brighter than any other league in the world. She has this ability to sort of see the bigger picture and to really understand what impact this will have on future generations of, of women hockey players and of women athletes as well. I'm hoping that it'll attract other elite players from other leagues and from the NCAA. You know, the salary cap that this league has is unmatched in the entire world for pro women's hockey and you know I believe it's the highest in all of pro women's sports in North America so I think it deserves attention and it provides hope and transparency into women's professional hockey. I hope that in the off season another great player will sign a contract that's larger than, than mine because I think in pro sports, the whole point is to keep raising the bar of the contract so everyone gets compensated more and more. I think the pitch is the same as the pitch to get the top players. They need to actually see what we have, what we provide for the uh, team, the training on and off the ice that is there for them, but also the support from the entire staff that goes into creating a real professional environment. I think what we want to do is convince the whole that um, the way forward is together and um, what together looks like might be very different for a lot of people, but there's got to be a way that we can um, show unity within the game and that it isn't us versus them anymore. It is simply all of us working to make a better game.